Hey guys, it's your boy Arch and we are back with another DBS theory and analysis video revisiting that epic moment in Dragon Ball Super episode 128 where for the third time Goku through the help of Vegeta and his comrades re-unlocked Ultra Instinct at the very last second and we will be delving deeper into the reaction of Universe 7 but most importantly Belmod and his Supreme Kai of Universe 11 and whether a crucial foreshadowing spoiler had been revealed. But before we begin guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button to enter our Xbox One X giveaway with a copy of Dragon Ball Fighters. There are only 7 days left guys, it's only 1 week to enter with a single button press. So join our community today. But moving on, first things first, episode 128 was a spectacle to say the least. Seeing the Prince of All Saiyans get beat down like that, but his resilience knowing full well he was the true MVP of the tournament shone completely through. Every attack he pulled off, as futile as it was, was just great, taking uppercuts and punches to the face but still getting back up. There was a strange scene where Vegeta managed to hang onto the stage though through the most unlikely of methods but when he finally did give his last bit of energy to Goku with all his hope and pride of it, it showed a stark change to the episode when Goku was powering up his spirit bomb and Vegeta refused to give any energy. When Goku did initially wake up, we know he did not last long though, but the act of losing that energy so fast after powering up to blue must have had some effect on depleting whatever was left of Goku's energy, which as we know is always critical to Goku's ultra instinct transformation, as seen with Keifla. With Goku at the edge of the stage and Jiren ready to deliver the final blow that sent Vegeta away moments earlier, the thoughts of his Universe 7 comrades entered his mind. But the final word and true trigger came from his Saiyan brethren, who had just watched sacrifice everything moments ago. Vegeta's scream of Kakarot, harking back to Goku's true Saiyan heritage, awakened the Ultra Instinct, with a classic super speed movement behind Jiren that's seen in pretty much every anime. In an act that is so reminiscent of when he first unlocked UI, Goku turns around slowly to reveal his new form. Ultra Instinct once more. From here he dodges each and every attack of Jiren before Goku lands his own hit, which seemingly feels much stronger than the hits he supposedly landed on Kefla. The fight goes on, but the real story here is the reaction of Universe 7 and particularly Universe 11. Immediately Goku's comrades are shocked at the scenes with Gohan realising what Goku had done, and Vegeta giving an approving smile as if he always knew it was coming. Weistain chimes in saying with a happy face that he never once thought that he would see UI again at a moment like this, highlighting how just incredible it is for someone, a mortal, to unlock it, let alone a third time in such a short amount of time, before Beerus says it took long enough, as if just like Vegeta, he too had learned to hold complete faith in Goku. He carries on to say, let's have a look at Ultra Instinct, revealing to all who had not yet clocked on what it exactly was that Goku had done. We then see the all important scenes of Universe 11's reaction which this video is based on, with Belmont angrily saying that damned Son Goku, how many times is he going to surpass his limits? Interesting to see his angel remains quiet in this instant, but the Supreme Kai who in this universe is known for being much more cunning and clever points out rightly that having it activate this close to the end is going to be problematic and he says this not because Goku may actually defeat Jiren, he means this knowing full well that another warrior from Universe 7 remains in the tournament and that warrior is Frieza. What he fears most is that with Goku's dodging and weaving, time will eventually run out and if that does happen, it will mean the end of Universe 11 as we know it, when Goku and Frieza win it for Universe 7 just through sheer numbers. The willpower of the Saiyans has been clearly displayed through Vegeta and even Goku fighting to this point and now with UI coupled in, the chances of Goku finding a way to stay in until the end are huge and the Kaioshin not only knows this but foreshadows this. Now we know in Dragon Ball Super Episode 129 we will be seeing Goku attain Mastered Ultra Instinct but whether this will be Finally enough to defeat Jiren is anyone's guess. No one really knows if Jiren has gone full power yet, but the threat of Frieza still being around still remains. 
and we'll have to see if the Kaioshin eventually warns Jiren to quickly at least take out Frieza before it's too late. Indeed, it's well known the Kaioshin of their respective universes do seemingly have a third eye for knowing things, with the Kaioshin of another universe even foreshadowing Goku's mastered Ultra Instinct form, saying, perhaps that being has truly attained Ultra Instinct this time. So I would not be surprised at all if Universe 11 Supreme Kai just let the cow out of the bag about how the Tournament of Power arc truly ends. But yeah guys, that was today's Dragon Ball Super Theory and Analysis video and I just hope as always it gave you something to think about. I think it's safe to say Frieza will have some sort of pivotal role in the end of Dragon Ball Super given how explicitly he has been saved. But let me know down below what you think is going to happen. But before you guys go, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to enter our Xbox One X giveaway which ends in only one week. Hit that button now for free and you could be unboxing that brand new console right at your doorstep. Until next video guys, cheers.